welcome to this edition of For the Quantum Grammar Shoot. In this edition, I'm going to do a little experiment, try and stay on the cutting edge of things, and I'm going to examine a slogan that's recently been promulgated by the current uh, United States of America president and his uh, administration, the Build Back Better slogan. I'm going to parse it. I'm going to examine it and uh, syntax it and just have a general discussion. I guess it would be a unilateral discussion because I'm the only one talking to help teach the psychology of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, and how that works and how our thinking is constantly being modified by social media, by the news media, by advertising, billboards, everything you can think of. YouTubers. Now my volition is not to modify anyone's thinking. However, that's not to say that that won't happen to someone who watches this video. It depends upon their knowledge level and their discernment of the facts and the volition of what's happening in this video and by the way this hat does not signify any political affiliation or anything like that this hat just happens to be a gift from my son a long time ago <clears throat> maybe in 2012 and it also happens to be my wife's favorite hat enjoy the video is the syntax of build back better and the reason is is because it's the last thing you saw hopefully it's fresh in your psyche so the first syntax scenario you saw was build back better going from port side to starboard side left to right pronoun adverb dangling participle verb the second one you saw was the build back better slogan but written centered text which means that the first two words build back stand by themselves adjective pronoun and then better which is centered and there's a break and it continues to the evidence because of excessive spacing stands by itself as a pronoun the first one from port side to starboard side build back better pronoun adverb verb build is a tangible contract pronoun and if you looked at the parse the etymology that I uh, provided earlier you will see why that is and then back is non-tangible contract adverb because we know that nothing can follow a pronoun except for a break in the continuance of the evidence or an adverb what do adverbs modify? 
adverbs modify adjectives or verbs. And in this case, it's a verb, a tangible contract verb, better which is a dangling participle verb because verb is thinking, verb is movement. There's nothing left to think about, so it's just dangling there. There's no closure for the action being performed. In the second scenario, build back, build is now an adjective coloring back into a non-tangible contract pronoun because we know pronouns, just like verbs, can be either tangible contract or non-tangible contract. And then better is just a tangible contract pronoun standing by itself. In both scenarios also shows the mechanic that word groups or sentences will only end on verbs or pronouns. They will not end on adverbs or adjectives simply because adverbs and adjectives are modifiers and there's nothing left to modify. Hence, a sentence or word group will only end on a verb or a pronoun depending upon what is coming before it, how the modification is going before it. And this is syntax and a correct way to syntax. And you can check out my YouTube channel www.youtube.com forward slash Jason Matthew Glass for more closure on these things. Now I'm going to take a look at some of the words in this slogan, such as build, comes from the Proto Indo European root B H E U E, which means to exist, to grow. Now I have a tangible contract with that. So we're building something, but this <clears throat> is. Adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. There's no closure as to what's going on there, so I'm giving closure to the best of my knowledge of what's going on here. The fictitious conveyance of grammar. So then the next word is back, and back is non-tangible contract. We're not talking about the body part. We're talking about the non-tangible contract word back which is from late 14th century to or toward the rear or the original starting place in the past. This is a particle of negation because it negates the now space. Or more accurately, it negates the continuum. There's nothing continuing. This has happened in the past, backwards, behind. That is why it is non-tangible contract. And then we have the tangible contract word better. And to find the etymological roots of that, you would have to go to the word best, which comes from Old English of the highest quality or standing first. Reparation, remedy help, profit. I have a tangible contract with those things, thus better, because we go back to the nativity root meaning of the word, is tangible contract. And that's my closure on that. You can look at my Parse playlist on my YouTube channel for more information, more detailed explications on how I Parse. So this slogan is plastered across everything that I see. Build back better. What is it actually saying? Well, we don't really know, but we can actually guess as to what's going on here. So basically, to sum up, build back better means to exist or to grow in the past at the highest level. Does that make sense to you? To exist or grow in the past at the highest level. Not right now, some other time. 
and as we know there's a continuum what has been called the now space the continuum continues I personally don't know where the continuum began or if it began I don't know where or if the continuum ends I just know that it continues there is no past there is no future only in a theoretical sense as an assumption as a memory or as a vision what we have is right now so according to build back better we're doing nothing right now it already happened <laughs> so it's just a, another three words of nonsense that has no claim on the continuum no claim in this now space position location the way I've come to cognize it is that each date or position on a clock is a location that's how you can schedule things for a now space continuum location everything's always happening right now so if I schedule an appointment for you on Friday at uh, 1200 hours that now space location is not in the future it's in the continuum and then and the continuum will continue until it hits that location in which case you and I can come together and have a meeting that's why the verb of the thinking is so important and the volition is so important and the psychology of all of this is so important to understand that and to put it another way people make in the fiction people make contracts with the past and the future especially with court they're going to tell you what you're going to do in the future or what you have done in the past. Never what you're doing right now and never through your senses. Because if you look in Black's Law Dictionary, the word sensation or sense is not even in there in any edition of Black's Law Dictionary to my knowledge. Anyone, this is my opinion, anyone who directs you away from the word sense or sensation pretty much pushing a fiction agenda that's my conclusion because if you don't sense something it doesn't exist for you and if you can be made to participate with the concept that sense or sensation is no contract that it's an opinion now you're open for someone else to give you their opinion and direction and then you start thinking the way they think the way they want you to think it's a very subtle control mechanism and as I've said multiple times in multiple videos <laughs> if you look at the very lay uh, the very title correct sentence structure the word SEN is in the word sentence so if the word sense or sensation is no contract, then correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar has a particle of negation in it, which is not the case, which I have parsed the word sense and sensation and sentence, and I know that is positive performance through the grammatical rules of parse, going back to the earliest nativity root mean of the word and I have performed a salvage on it a video I put a video up detailing the salvage and I put the drogue on it of a year and a day and no one no one contacted me challenging that uh, claim so therefore the claim has standing and it's open source I don't keep it to myself it's not classified it's out there for all to use if they wish 
and they can use the closure that I direct them to in that video, which I will leave a link to. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see it. So I just wanted to make that clear. It's the sensation, the port of sensation, how we navigate through the continuum. Data comes into our port of sensation. We allow certain data to dock whatever vibes with us or resonates with us or not. You know, it just depends upon your discernment. Then we take it, formulate knowledge and transship it out as claims. Henceforth, for the claimant's cognition of the sensation is with this claim of the facts with the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, knowledge by this claim or by this claimant. And then from there, since you've given a basis, a foundation for where the claim comes from, comes from the sensation, now you can say for the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with this claim and then move on with whatever you're claiming. Putting yourself as the authority at the end, if that's the route you choose to use. And so build back better is not a part of correct sentence structure at all. It's just another fiction. I don't know, whatever you want to say, a fiction program, another slogan like make America great again. Make America great again. I'll let you, the viewer think about that one just as I've done with build back better using the same techniques you can go through and parse those words find out the original nativity root means find out if they're tangible contract or non-tangible contract and then that will put you in a position to be able to syntax those words find the fictitious conveyance of grammar not just say that it's a fictitious conveyance of grammar but to say why it is why this word has this value or that value or why this is being modified or that's being modified. It's very readily available on my YouTube channel or if you choose, you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and ask me a grammar question or apply for a correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar workshop. In this case, I will schedule you a 10 to 15 minute brief video consultation of which there's a rule one rule equal performance. You just invest your now space, I invest now space, and we have a conversation. Hope you enjoyed this. See you soon. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.